Let's go to Victoria now and catch up with the Shadow Health Minister, Georgie Crozier. Thanks for joining us, Georgie. I mean, it's just so obvious. There's no harm. There's no downside, surely, to an allowing exemption for this family to quarantine their, their daughter at home upon arrival from the US. Well, Chris, you just heard from Christian, that dear little girl with, you know, who's so brave. Look at her. Look what she's struggling with. And the mountains that she is sort of climbing in a, in a medical sense to get over her very serious cancer. And the terrible situation that that poor mother and the family are being put in because of the bureaucrats who won't provide exemptions. And, you know, it just beggars belief, these double standards of the Andrews government when they're allowing positive tennis players to come into Victoria known from known hotspots and yet people from like Christy and Sammy can't return home and be closer to the medical treatment where they where her treating doctors are what's more where it's recommended she be is just being lost in all of this and I just think it's absolutely appalling it's the compassion is not there and it's quite cruel. It's just not rational, though, and let's not just blame the bureaucrats. This is where politicians or the health minister or the premier should step in. Yes, we know that anyone who's exempted from the normal quarantine, they might have a little bit more risk of bringing the virus in, but it's, it, it's only coronavirus. Uh, we have had plenty of breaches. It's going to come in. It keeps coming in. The idea that... Uh, and there are much lower chance of coming from these people because they've spent their whole time in hospital being super careful for their daughter, and if there is... In the, in, the, in, the, in the tiny chance that there is an infection brought in, it's brought into their home where they're quarantined, where they're getting tested, where they're getting medical help. Well, you're right, Chris. I mean, little Sammy is so immunocompromised anyway. I mean, she is at high risk. She should be protected. And as Christy said, you know, she's being exposed in more ways and she should be protected. And as you say... Where is the health minister? Why isn't he going to bat for this family and this little girl to get back to her home and get back to her home state, to be closer to her oncologist? Well, we've got to keep the, on this because team. it's not going to help this time. They're going to go down to Melbourne, get out of quarantine this time on Tuesday. But as we heard, uh, they're going to have to do this treatment again in the US in three months and it would be an outrage if they're forced to go through quarantine again. We'll just put up on screen here the letter they got from the Victorian uh, health uh, authorities just saying your request mm. has been considered and we advise you that we're not able to grant your request for you to undertake your quarantine at an alternative location. And this is after sending all the medical reports and all the undertakings, of course. Uh, as you point out, now, I I'm all in favour of some of the exemptions and trying to get the Australian Open happening and all the rest of it. But if we can do that and have flexibility for movie stars and for um, politicians and for tennis players, surely this case is just so obvious. Well, that's the point, isn't it, Chris? You know, if there are exemptions there, and as you say, I mean, it was such a hard, callous, um, you know, message from the department to say you've been denied that exemption for somebody who's at real need and there needs to be more consideration and I hope the government does um, actually take this case on and I hope that some common sense prevails. What can you and do to make sure that time, happens, Georgie Crozer? Have you I written will... to them? Have you tried to get a meeting with the Health Minister? Will you put a petition to Parliament? Have you asked questions in Parliament? Well, we haven't been going back... We haven't been back in Parliament since early December, but we're back in next week, Chris, and I'll be certainly raising this matter, I can assure you. Please raise it and please let us know what sort of a response we get uh, because little Sammy should not have to... Well, she should quarantine, of course, next time, but at home with her family, with the best of care. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Chris. Georgie Crozier there, who's the Shadow Health Minister in Victoria. Let us know what you think about that situation. I mean, you have to have exemptions. You have to have flexibility. And to not give this family and little Sammy that exemption, that opportunity to quarantine at home, is heartless, irrational and cruel.